The sub 20,000 rupee smartphone segment in India has seen a lot of launches in the past few months. Most smartphone manufacturers are offering powerful hardware and good features in a price point that wasn't very common in the recent past. As a result, we have phones like the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the Galaxy M40 and the Realme 3 Pro, which are quite popular in the segment. And now there's one more called the Vivo Z1 Pro. As a result, we now have four highly desirable value for money smartphones in this price segment. So which one should you pick? We pit four of these against each other in a battle royale to see the last one standing. Now before we go ahead with this big comparison, be sure to subscribe to the Gadgets360 YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're the first to know when we have a new video. Each smartphone here represents a different approach to design. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro has a glass sandwich design with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and the back which gives it a premium feel. The Note 7 Pro also has a 6.3 inch LTPS in-cell display with a dew drop notch. The power and the volume buttons are well positioned and the fingerprint scanner is at the back and is easy to reach. There's an IR emitter at the top along with the 3.5mm headphone jack. This phone also sports a USB Type-C port for charging. It has a dual camera module at the back which protrudes slightly. The Realme 3 Pro sports a 6.3 inch IPS display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection and fairly slim bezels on the sides. It has a laminate back which cuffs easily. The power and volume buttons are well positioned and it has a 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom. The Realme 3 Pro has a micro USB port which makes it feel dated. There is a dual camera setup at the back along with a fingerprint scanner which is well positioned. Realme offers the 3 Pro in multiple gradient finishes which might be appealing to some buyers. Samsung's Galaxy M40 was launched quite recently and was the first smartphone in the sub 20,000 rupee segment to sport a hole punch display. It has a 6.3 inch PLS TFT LCD panel instead of the AMOLED panels common on Samsung devices. There is Corning Gorilla Glass protection for the display but Samsung hasn't specified which version. The company also uses a plastic frame which does pick up minus cuffs when used without a cover. The smartphone is sleek and is light. It has a triple camera setup at the back along with a fingerprint scanner. We found the power and volume buttons as well as the fingerprint scanner to be placed a little higher for our liking. The Galaxy M40 does not have an earpiece and instead the upper portion of the screen itself vibrates to produce sound. This phone has a USB Type-C port but misses out on a 3.5mm headphone jack. Samsung provides Type-C headphones in the box but you don't get a USB Type-C to 3.5mm dongle. The Vivo Z1 Pro is the latest competitor. This smartphone has a big 6.53 inch display and a hole punch front camera. It is bulkier than all the other smartphones in this comparison which is partly thanks to its big battery. The Vivo Z1 Pro also has a dedicated Google Assistant button which can be used from any screen. The power and volume buttons are to the right and the volume button is a little hard to reach. The frame as well as the back panel are made of plastic. Vivo also has gradient color options to choose from. At the back, the Z1 Pro has a triple camera setup while the hole punch selfie camera is positioned in top left corner of the display. The Vivo Z1 Pro sports a micro USB port along with a 3.5mm headphone jack. Of all the four smartphones, the Redmi Note 7 Pro feels premium in the hand thanks to its glass sandwich design. The Vivo Z1 Pro and the Galaxy M40 look futuristic with their hole punch displays. Now, overall, we would pick the Galaxy M40 primarily because of its design. It is sleek and comfortable to hold in the hand. All these smartphones have powerful processors, but budget pricing is what makes them appealing. The Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Galaxy M40 both sport the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 SoC, while the Realme 3 Pro uses the Snapdragon 710 SoC. And the new Vivo Z1 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 712 SoC. Let's take a look at the options on offer. The Redmi Note 7 Pro has three variants, 4GB RAM with 64GB of storage, priced at 13,999 rupees, 6 GB RAM with 64 GB of storage, priced at 15,999 rupees, and the 6 GB RAM 128 GB storage variant, 
is priced at 16,999 rupees. The Realme 3 Pro and the Vivo Z1 Pro has three variants similarly configured like the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now the Realme 3 Pro options are priced at 13,499 rupees, 14,999 rupees and 15,999 rupees. On the other hand, the Vivo Z1 Pro variants are priced at 14,990, 16,990 rupees and 17,990 rupees. The Realme 3 Pro has a slight advantage, but the Vivo Z1 Pro isn't far away. Samsung's Galaxy M40 is only available in one configuration, with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, priced at 19,990 rupees. This makes the Galaxy M40 expensive compared to other models in this comparison. All these smartphones support expandable storage, but only the Vivo Z1 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro sport dedicated microSD card slots, while the other two have hybrid dual SIM slots. All four smartphones run Android Pie, which is the current version of Android. Each manufacturer has customized the UI on its offering. The Z1 Pro runs Vivo's FunTouch OS and the Redmi Note 7 Pro runs Xiaomi's MIUI, neither of which have an app drawer. The Realme 3 Pro's color OS skin and Galaxy M40's One UI do. We found that the Redmi Note 7 Pro kept pushing spammy notifications at us throughout the day, while the others didn't have this problem. The Samsung One UI is the most polished and stands out compared to the others, making it our pick. The Galaxy M40 has the best display with vivid colors, maximum brightness and the best viewing angles of the four smartphones we've compared. It is followed by the Realme 3 Pro. The display on the Realme is a little warm, which cost it the lead. The Redmi Note 7 Pro is third when it comes to the display since its viewing angles aren't as good as those of the Realme 3 Pro, causing it to look washed out in darker areas. The Vivo Z1 Pro had the least impressive display here. It is low on brightness, has subdued colors, and the viewing angles are just average compared to the other smartphones at this price point. While testing the speakers of each smartphone, we found that the Galaxy M40 had the loudest and the best audio quality. The Realme 3 Pro came in second, primarily because it wasn't as loud as the Galaxy M40, but it had decent quality. The Redmi Note 7 Pro was third as it was neutral. And the Vivo Z1 Pro fared last, primarily because it sounded dull and tinny. We played PUBG Mobile on all these smartphones to see which one is the best device to play games on. The game defaulted to its high presets on all of them, but we observed occasional stutter on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Galaxy M40. The Vivo Z1 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro on the other hand could run the games at these settings without any stutters. We also observed that the Z1 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro did not get warm while the Snapdragon 675 powered Redmi Note 7 Pro and Galaxy M40 ran warm after just 10 minutes. Of all the phones we have here, it is the Vivo Z1 Pro that has the biggest battery at 5000mAh. The Redmi Note 7 Pro has a 4000mAh battery, while the Realme 3 Pro has a 4045mAh battery. Samsung's Galaxy M40 has the smallest battery at 3500mAh. Now we come to our HD video loop test. We were expecting the Vivo Z1 Pro to dominate its competition since it has a massive battery but it was the Redmi Note 7 Pro which ran the longest at 19 hours and 23 minutes, followed by the Vivo Z1 Pro which managed 18 hours and 32 minutes. The Galaxy M40 and the Realme 3 Pro were next in line, scoring 15 hours 30 minutes and 14 hours 13 minutes respectively. We streamed an hour-long YouTube video on all these smartphones at max brightness. The Vivo Z1 Pro registered a 9% battery drain, while the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro managed 10% and 11% battery drain respectively. The Samsung Galaxy M40 on the other hand registered a 15% battery drain for the same activity. Each smartphone takes a different approach when it comes to cameras. The Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro both sport dual camera setups. The Redmi Note 7 Pro sports a 48 megapixel primary sensor along with a 5 megapixel depth sensor, whereas the Realme 3 Pro sports a 16 megapixel primary sensor and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The Galaxy M40 and the Z1 Pro both have triple camera setups. The one on the Samsung consists of a 32 megapixel primary sensor, 
an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Vivo uses a 16 megapixel primary sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. We took photos in different lighting conditions with each of these four smartphones to determine which one delivers the best results. The Samsung Galaxy M40 did have an issue without focus and we had to wait for it to lock focus. The Realme 3 Pro was super quick to focus followed by the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Vivo Z1 Pro. In daylight shots, we noticed that the Realme 3 Pro and the Galaxy M40 came close to getting scenes right. The Redmi Note 7 Pro could not get the background exposure right and over sharpened images, causing a loss in details. The shots taken by the Vivo Z1 Pro looked good at first, but on zooming in, we noticed a lack of detail. The Realme 3 Pro managed the best details here. In close ups, we saw that the Realme 3 Pro managed the most natural looking shots with the most accurate color tone and best detail. The Galaxy M40 shots were on the cooler side, causing the purple flower to look bluish. The Vivo Z1 Pro boosted saturation, which made images look vivid, but it wasn't accurate. The Redmi Note 7 Pro delivered decent output, slotting it above the Vivo Z1 Pro in our close-up test. As for portraits, it was the Galaxy M40 that took the top spot with good color and a proper bokeh effect. The Realme 3 Pro was next but the skin tones it produced were a bit too warm. The output from the Redmi Note 7 Pro was a little underexposed, but it still had good details and sharpness. This is an improvement over the last time we compared these two smartphones, which could be because of software updates that manufacturers release from time to time. The Z1 Pro came last year since photos came out with soft focus. The Realme 3 Pro managed the best selfies, which had good details. The Galaxy M40 came in second mainly because of a pinkish tinge in the shots we took. The Redmi Note 7 Pro did not expose the background properly but managed better colors than the Vivo Z1 Pro. We found that selfies taken with the Vivo Z1 Pro were a little grainy and the colors were not pleasing. When shooting portraits with the selfie camera, we found that the Galaxy M40 managed the best shots followed by the Vivo Z1 Pro. The Redmi Note 7 Pro came in third while the Realme 3 Pro was last year because of boosted colors and aggressive bokeh that makes the shot look artificial. Taking selfies in low light, the Realme 3 Pro came on top by exposing the entire scene properly followed by the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Galaxy M40, while the Vivo Z1 Pro took the last spot due to its slightly grainy output. In low light shots, it was the Realme 3 Pro that managed to grab the top spot with proper exposure, good details and less noise. The Galaxy M40 took the second spot but lacks sharpness compared to the Realme 3 Pro. The Redmi Note 7 Pro managed to beat the Vivo Z1 Pro by managing noise better. We used night mode on all these devices except the Galaxy M40 which lacks it. We found that the Realme 3 Pro managed to reproduce the best details though images were a little saturated. The Redmi Note 7 Pro came in second since we found its color reproduction to be slightly off. Vivo grabbed the third spot by offering better details than the Galaxy M40. In low light close up shots, it was the Galaxy M40 that managed the best results. However, this needed patience as the device was slow to focus. The Vivo Z1 Pro came in second thanks to its warm color tone. The Realme 3 Pro took the third spot since the colors it captured weren't accurate and the Redmi Note 7 Pro was last because it couldn't focus and get a sharp shot. All four smartphones offer EIS to try to stabilize video output. The Vivo Z1 Pro managed to deliver the best results with very mild focus hunting in a few instances. The Realme 3 Pro came in second with mild shimmer visible in the output. The Redmi Note 7 Pro also exhibited a mild shimmer plus warping was visible at the edges of the frame. The Galaxy M40 was in the last spot as there was noticeable wobble in the output. When recording video at 4K, none of these smartphones offer stabilization. The Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Realme 3 Pro were tied for the top spot with good colors. The Vivo Z1 Pro overexposed the sky, burning it out in a few places. In low light, we found that the Galaxy M40 managed the best footage, but it had a major issue with focus. The Realme 3 Pro's output had a mild shimmer effect, which was slightly more pronounced on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. The Vivo Z1 Pro was the weakest of the lot in this test, 
and it dropped the frame rate down to 20 fps while all the others managed to keep it close to 30 fps. At the end of our exhaustive 4 smartphone comparison, it's now time to pick a winner. Since none of the smartphone aced all our tests, there isn't one clear winner by a great margin. The Samsung Galaxy M40 is sleek and has a futuristic design. It also has the best display panel and the loudest speaker of the four. However, it has the smallest battery of all these smartphones, so you will have to keep a charger handy to top it off. Its camera performance is second only to the Realme 3 Pro. But then too, you will have to be a patient photographer since its autofocus is the weakest of the lot. Now this was also one of the main reasons why it scored lower in our review. Yes, the Galaxy M40 is expensive compared to all the other smartphones, but it also manages to get most things done right. If you are on a strict budget and don't wish to go overboard, it is the Realme 3 Pro that delivers the best value. It did manage to win most of our camera tests convincingly and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 SoC does run cooler compared to the Snapdragon 675 SoC. The Redmi Note 7 Pro offers good battery life, but spammy ads and notifications can be a lot to handle. Lastly, while the Vivo Z1 Pro manages to come on top when it comes to performance, it fails to make enough of a mark in other areas compared to the three competitors. So that was our big 4 phone comparison. Now which smartphone would you pick? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.